Hi YouTube, this is Evie. Um, I thought I would just do a short little review for a shop called Woodland Creature Shop on Etsy. I haven't seen a whole lot about them on YouTube or on other social media sites, so I thought it would be nice to have a video in case anybody was looking to buy them or just didn't know about them yet. Um, and I really like them and I think they definitely deserve the promotion. Um, the first thing to know about them is they're in Canada. So if you're in Canada, that's great, but if you're in the U.S., um, shipping might take a while. But at the same time, the exchange rate between the U.S. and Canada is really great if you're in the United States. I paid about 52 Canadian dollars for my ears with shipping. And um, when I did the conversion to USD on PayPal to pay for them, it was a little bit over $30 for my ears. So big savings there. Um, shipping does take a while. Here's on her page, it takes about five to 13 days for shipping. Um, it took me personally 10 days for shipping, um, but I've seen reviews that get their years right away in three days or five days. It all really just depends on what the post is doing. She ships out her ears rather promptly. I think usually in about two days after you bought them. And um, so she's pretty prompt. It's just a matter of what the post is up to. Um, and then this is what the mailer actually looks like. It's just this little like, plain old little envelope um, and then obviously covered up the address um, not really anything special um, it's just taped and then inside there's not really anything doesn't come with any bubble wrap doesn't come with any sort of filling um, it just ships plain which I know is a problem for some people um, because they could get damaged he said he's never had a lost or damaged package but I am a college student it does happen especially in dorms so if you're worried about that, I'm sure you could message her and ask for packaging or at least shipping, tracking or insurance. Shipping, tracking costs $8 and then insurance is on a case by case basis um, because the value of the items vary. Um, but they are really nice. Um, this is what they look like. Um, I got the black wolf ears, I believe is what the style is called. Um, these ones. If it'll focus. Um, have are all black, and at the very end they have nice little silver tufts, and then they're pretty pointed, but not too pointed to be unrealistic. Um, they're pretty long up front, and then in the back the fur is pretty short, and then it has some a little bit longer tufts in the back. And this one comes on a metal headband. And then it's secured with these metal spirals like right here and then there's one on the other side and then two more up here. So they're pretty secure. They don't really move all around a whole lot. Um, you can't move them up or down which you know is going to be a problem for some people because different people like to wear their ears different ways and having them not be adjustable is you know bad if you want that. Um, like I said standard is on a metal headband. Um, I have also seen plastic headbands and I've also seen clips, although those aren't usual. If they do come on that, it'll say in the title of the item on her page, um, like calico cat ears with clips. She doesn't make calico cat ears, so I will talk more about that in a second. Um, these ears, though they are secure up down, they are really bendable. Um, so you can bend them all the way down if you want, which is nice because you can make little puppy ears out of them, which are really hard to find. So that's nice. You can them they're not going to get too damaged if you do this so don't worry about it it's also nice that they're bendable because they do get flat in shipping because of the style of packaging that she uses um so you can bend them back into shape i actually like these um on the flat side because of how fluffy they are up here in the front they don't really need to be uh, bent in that much um these are a bigger style of ears than i would normally get um this is what they look like when they're on i hate that she does a really nice job with them being secure like they are, of making sure they fit well and frame the face well, um, which is something that's pretty important when you're making ears in this style, um, because they are realistic ears. That's what she does. She doesn't really do crazy colors. She just does what's natural for whatever animal she's making. She does make a wide variety of ears though, which is nice. So um, she makes, I've seen lynx and rabbit and tiger, fox, um, kitten, wolf, obviously. So really anything under the sun, and like I said before, she does make calico cat ears, which I know is really hard for people who are into kitten play to find if they are a calico cat. Finding ears and a tail for that kind of thing is really hard. Um, but she's able to make them because she does her own shading on the ears. So 
if you're looking for calico cat ears, um, or maybe even tortoiseshell, I'm sure she'd probably get into that in the future as well. Um, you'll be able to find them on her shop. Um, she does make a wide variety of items, but you're not really sure quite what she's going to put out because each thing is unique. So what I like to do is, um, is go to her Etsy page. Um, don't do this on the mobile browser because you actually won't be able to get to that on there from what I've seen. Um, so if you're on a laptop or a desktop, open up, you know, Google Chrome or whatever. Um, go to her Etsy page and then go down to sales. And then from there, you can see pictures and then item description of every item that's ever been on her shop. So you can see all the colors that she's done, all the shapes, sizes, all that. And that's really great information to have, um, especially um, if you want to message her and ask her if she makes something. You can say something like, you know, I saw like a couple months ago you made white tiger ears. I would like a pair of those. Could you maybe make a pair of those in the future? Um, she doesn't really do customs as far as I know. Uh, I believe her policy is more along the lines of no customs unless the custom listing is open, which I've personally never seen before. Maybe they sell it really fast. I have no idea, um, but I think she'll probably be more open to a suggestion as to what ears to make next if she knows someone's going to buy them. And if she does do reserve listings, I'm not sure what the process for that is because it doesn't say in her page and I personally didn't do that when I bought my ears. So if you want to maybe reserve a listing, like you know you would really want a pair of Calico Cat ears, I maybe message her, say that that's what would you like, and maybe she can make a reserve listing for you the next time she puts items up, if that's what she's planning on making. Um, I have also seen tails on her site. I've only seen two. Um, one came in a set with fox ears, and then one was just a fox tail by itself. Um, they were both really recent listings, I think within the last month. So I don't know if she's getting more into making those, or um, if she's going to make any more, if they were just a little experiment. Um, so I really hope that she makes more tails personally because it can be really hard to find tails for some um, styles of animals. Like if you're maybe trying to find a lynx tail or like a fennec fox tail or something that's definitely like totally out of the realm of what most shops make. Um, I would definitely encourage her to make more if she ever ends up seeing this video because I know a lot of people will really like those. Um, but overall, I am really happy with these ears. Um, they're definitely my favorite pair of ears that I own. I don't own that many, but I have seen a lot of ears. I spent a long time trying to find ears because I'm a wolf dog pet player and it's really hard to find ears that match that because most places only make kitten ears or they make puppy ears that fold over, and neither of those really fit what I do. So being able to find these was just so great, and it made me so happy. And these are really nice quality ears. I, I can't see any stitching or seaming or hot glue on them, anything like that. And I would imagine, as long as you take care of them well and you store them in an appropriate manner, um, they will last you a really long time. So I would definitely highly recommend these ears to anybody who is looking for a more natural pair of ears for pet play or maybe just for a Halloween costume, anything like that. So I will go ahead and put a link to her shop in the description if you guys want to go and check her out. I know she's on vacation right now because it's Labor Day weekend until Monday, so I'm not sure when the next time she's going to post ears is. But at the very least, you can go and check out what she's made before and see more ears and read some reviews and get a better idea of what her shop is like. But I hope you guys have a good Labor Day weekend. That's it for this video, and I will see you later.